hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're going to be discussing type def in c programming so as a sort of review in the previous tutorial we have learned how to use unions and how to implement unions inside our um, c program and we also have implemented a simple solution or simple program that um, implements the capability of unions in C. So as I've said in this video, we're going to be discussing type def. And yeah, I'm going to show you how you can use type def inside your program or C program. So basically, guys, C is such a dominant language uh, of its time and even now that even uh, you can name those um, primary data type of your own and can create your own um, name data type by blending data type and its qualifier. So it means that we could create our custom name for our qualifier or custom uh, name for our primary data type. And then we can use the keyword type def right here and this is a keyword um, implemented to tell the compiler uh, for assigning an alternative name to the existing uh, data types. This keyword uh, type def typically employed in association with user defined data types um, in cases if the names of data types turn out to be a little complicated or uh, intricate for a programmer to to get or to use within a program so there are cases that the, uh, a particular data type or a name of a particular data type is like complicated and it not easy to be used inside a program so that's where the type def uh, comes in so it can be used to make the naming of our data types or of variables in C a lot uh, a lot easier. So the typical format for implementing this type def keyword is like this. We can uh, use the type def keyword just like that, and then we could um, specify the existing names of data types or data type data type okay and then of course right after that is the alias user given name so again we're gonna use the type def keyword and then of course the existing names of data types so there are like int signed int unsigned, um, char, and other permitted data types inside our C program. And then, of course, we're, we're going to add the user given name, which is uh, the custom name that we want to name this particular um, existing name uh, data type. So it, uh, this is going to make sense later on if you try to implement this inside our C program. So for now, just think of this as the syntax of defining or how to name our existing data types. So type def and then existing names of, of data type and then alias or the user given name. So we could um, add here a sample snippet. So like this, type def, okay, and then sign long, okay, and we're going to give this um, user given name as s long, okay. So basically, guys, if you have or if you are trying to define sign long um, data type, so it's going to be uh, complicated or like it's going to have a long um, name because you can do it like this sign 
long and then say so for example var variable one and then sign long var two sign long var three and so on so as you can see the name of this particular variable or the data type um, has like signed and then long keyword so it's going to take up more space take more uh, we're going to type more text inside our program instead of just using it like this so all we have to do is define it like type def and then sign long and then as long and then we could implement this set of like that we could implement that by using something as long and then g okay so basically what we're doing here is that we're get, we're just getting this alias from there and then um it's going to include all the data types or existing names of data type here so the s long is associated with this right here so we we can uh, declare or yeah create a variable with a signed long data type something like that and then of course we could add a variable like, just like this uh, it will allow us to create two variables name g and d which will be of type uh, signed long and this quality of signed long is getting detected from s long okay which already defined the meaning of is long or s long in your program which is this particular meaning signed long okay and right after that we could make this or the concept of type type def can be implemented for defining a user defined data type with a specific name and type and this type def can also be used with structure um, of C language and of course we already have um, tackled demonstrated how we can use struct inside our C program so basically what we could do here as I've said we could add or use this uh, keyword type def in our structure so the syntax is like this all we have to do is type in uh, type def and then struct and then say for example student so this particular struct is named a student and then it has like the um, members of this struct is of type char and then say for example s name which is the name of the student okay and then we, put, we could say here in s h okay so this particular struct saved um, a data which is the name and the age of the student and of course we could add an alias to our struct so for example stud okay so just like that and then of course we could use the struct inside our main so for now let's get rid of this so what we could do here is we could say stud and then st something like that and then we could see here printf and then enter student details okay we could add a new line here semicolon and then we could copy and paste this you can see here enter student name and we're going to add a tab slash t and then we could what we could do here is use the scan f function so percent s and then we're going to be passing the st dot s name 
So all we're doing here is just assigning a value of this STS name coming from our user. Okay, and then second line or the second information that we need is all about the age of the student. So enter the age. Okay, so we should add backslash n right here to add a new line. Okay, so what we could do here is scan f and then percent d. Okay, and then we could say here st dot h. Okay, and then print f. Um, just like this backslash n for a new line and then we can say here input done okay and of course we could display this if we want to you know to get all the information that we have entered the name and the age of the student okay but for now let's let's uh, let's just try this build and run our program okay so we have here the output enter student details so the first name or the the first option will be the name so we can say here John and then the second option is the age so enter the age of the student so for example the age of the student is 18 and then yeah we need to add um, it says here that the main.exe has stopped working uh, we need to add the um, ampersand here and then build and run our program once again so I hope this would this would work right now so John and then the age of the student will be 18 so input done okay so basically guys we could um, define our struct with the use of type def um, keyword just like this and as you, as you can see here we define our um, std um, alias right here and then we, we use that std alias right here to um, name our variable st and then from that or st we could access the members by using the dot symbol so st dot and then the members of our struct student okay so if you have questions regarding the use of type def and how to work with this inside our struct you could comment down below in the comment section and once again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video